In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing a song of praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church and they should pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick person and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The fervent prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. Elijah was a man like us, yet he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain upon the land. Then Elijah prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you should stray from the truth, and someone bring him back, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come like incense before you. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, to you I call. Hasten to me. Hearken to my voice when I call upon you. Let my prayer come like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, set a watch before my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. For toward you, O God, my Lord, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, strip me not alive. Let my prayer come like incense before you. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them. But the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced the children and blesses them. 
placing his hands on them. May their friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Narinig natin yung mga bata sa ating Ibanghelyo. And if there is something new at this time sa buhay natin bilang mga Kristiyano, lalong-lalo na dito sa, sa eksena sa simbahan, kung may bago man muli, ay yung marinig mo yung mga ingay ng bata. For so long, for more than a year, wala tayong maririnig na bata sa loob ng simbahan. But this time, maririnig mo yung iyak ng bata. Something that is so distinct in the life of the church. Speaking of the children, kung titignan natin yung eksena, Christ is trying to protect those who come near to Him. And, and coming nearer to Jesus or to God is something so essential in the life of Christians. Isang napakalagang aspeto po sa ating mga Kristiyano ang lumapit sa Diyos. And to be specific, lumapit dito sa simbahan. Paano tayo lumapit bilang mga Kristiyano? Hindi lang yung tipong paglapit sa simbahan. Yung, yung mismong, to be specific, paglapit sa simbahan. Pagpunta sa loob ng simbahan. Kaya ako po'y natutuwa. Ngayon, punong-puno po tayo. Ito po mismo yung character, distinct character natin mga Kristiyano. Yung lumalapit sa simbahan, pupunta sa simbahan. And in the gospel, you, we see Christ is trying to protect them. Bakit? Sapagkat nakikita niya yung kahalagahan nito. Na sa loob ng simbahan, may grasya. Sa loob ng simbahan, makikita mo yung grasya ng Diyos. Hindi po nangangahulugan na kapag nasa loob ka ng simbahan, perfecto ka, banal ka. Hindi po ang yun ang ibig sabihin. Magkos nakikita ng Diyos, lalong-lalo na dito sa, sa ating sa eksena ng Ibanghelyo, mahalaga ang paglapit sa Diyos, lalong-lalo na sa konteksto natin ngayon, sa loob ng simbahan, sapagkat sa loob nito may grasya. Bakit? Sapagkat ang pumapasok sa simbahan, makikita mo, umaangat ang kahinaan. Nandun yung pagtanggap ng kasalanan. Nandun yung pag, pag, maba, pagkakaroon ng mababang loob. Nandun yung pagtanggap ng kahinaan mo, humihingi ka na kang tawad. Nandun yung pagtanggap ng iyong kahinaan, kaya humihingi ka ng tulong, humihingi ka ng awa, at yun mismo ang eksena sa loob ng eksimbahan ngayon. Bakit tayo nagkakatipon-tipon? Sapagkat umaangat yung ating kahinaan. Naramdaman ko yung hindi ko kaya ang lahat. Kaya dumudulog ako sa Ama. Dumudulog ako sa ating mahal na ina. Nagmamakawa, tulungan mo kami, mahal na ina. Umaangat yung ating kahinaan bilang makasalanan. Kaya nandito tayo, alam ko, hindi tayo karapat-dapat bagkos dumudulog, lumuluhod, humihingi ng tawad. At yun mismo, nagsisimbolo ng grasya ng Diyos. I know it's not easy for us to come here to kneel down and ask for mercy. And yet, that itself is an act of grace. Yun mismo ang pagpapit pa lang dito isang biyaya na. Kaya ganun kahalaga sa ating Panginoon ang pagpas, pag, pagpapahalaga ng mga taong lumalapit sa Diyos. Sapagkat yun mismo, I know it's not easy, alam ko pagkatapos nito, lumalabas pa rin yung kahinaan, at least, we're not giving up. We're trying to become a better person. Kaya sana mga kapatid, yung ating pagpunta sa simbahan, Sana'y magdulot din sa atin ng isang magandang realization, isang maganda pang pangako that we will continue to do our best to become a better one. We continue to do our best to embrace our faith. And we continue to follow the faith consistently, always. That sometimes kahit lumalabas yung kahinaan natin, nagkakasala pa rin, and yet we are so open to once again ask for forgiveness. 
and become a better person. Ang paglapit ng simbahan, paglapit sa simbahan, paglapit sa Diyos, paglapit sa ating mahal na ina. Alam ko, bitbit natin ang ating mga panalangin. Dumudulog tayo ng tulong. Pero sana po huwag natin kalimutan, kalakip nito ay ang pagkakaroon ng panibagong pangako. Panibagong pangako na huwag na natin muling gawin. Panibagong pangako ng pagbabagong buhay. Tamang-tama po mga kapatid sa susunod na linggo, sa Wednesday, or Ash Wednesday na po, Merkules ng Abo. Simula na po ng panahon ng Kwaresma. And it's always an invitation for us to become a better person, to renew again. And I just hope within this season of Lent, lumapit po tayo sa Diyos. At ayon sa ating pananampalataya bilang mga Katoliko, isang magandang paglapit, pamamaraan ng paglapit sa Diyos, ay paglapit sa pamamagitan ng sakramento ng pangungumpisal. Makikita niyo po sa panahon ng Kwaresma at lalong-lalo na sa Holy Week sa Semena Santa, bukas po ang simbahan sa pangungumpisal. Kahit may po mismo ay magkakaroon po ng, ng set-up sa labas upang maging bukas sa lahat ang pangungumpisal. Sana po gawa natin ng paraan na patuloy na magkakaroon ng disposition na lumapit sa Diyos upang humingi ng tawad sa lahat ng ating kahinaan. Sabi ko nga po, mahalaga sa atin ang paglapit sa Diyos sapagkat mismong paglapit mo, kalakip nito ay grasya ng Diyos. We all stand And with confidence, we come and present our needs to God our Father, who loves all His children. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church may teach her members the true dignity of marriage, and so help couples remain faithful to their vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs, and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the aged, the lonely, and the sick may find love and support within the community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died may find a place in God's eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in silence, we offer to God all our needs, our prayers and intentions, while seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Almighty Father, you have given us marriage as a sign of your love. Help us to live in harmony with one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received 
the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, and Jesus Christ. And through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, and their sacramental signs, may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. So that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May all your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mananatili lamang po tayo sa ating mga pwesto at lalapit po kami para sa pagbibidisyon.